2020 property assessment notices officially went online and are en route to mailboxes across the province. If you're a BC homeowner, you might be doing a double take after seeing how much your property values have fluctuated. The assessments became available on the BC Assessment website this week and while detached homes in Metro Vancouver saw a decrease, it really depends on which area you're in and which micro market you're a part of to, to, to see how much it decreased uh, and if it decreased at all. The 20 assessment, 2020 assessment notices reflect property market values as of July 1st, 2019. So this is very important because the vast majority of the trading this year happened in the second half of 2019, meaning the assessed data is very stale. If you feel you've been unfairly assessed in comparison to your neighbors, you'll have to act quickly though, as the deadline to appeal these evaluations is January 31st. BC Assessment does say that most of their complaints get resolved between the property owners and the staff, uh, but if you need to take it to the tribunal, you can go through BC Assessment's website and there's a phone number on there to uh, use as well. Now, so this is the next step. You end up going through the appeal process and you'll have to submit a written request to BC Assessment's office no later than January 31st. The ministry's also created a video outlining how to prepare for your hearing and what evidence you'll need to support your claim. But you know what, just call me for a breakdown of what to expect and I can help you with that evidence as well. The hearings are open to the public and they typically last 30 minutes. During that time, you'll have to provide evidence that your property assessment notice is inaccurate. Again, I can help you with that. And the panel will likely ask you questions and you're also allowed to ask the panel questions. There's no risk to appealing a BC property assessment value. And you know what, they don't always get it right. If you have a property that's different from the other stuff that's been transacting in that, in that year, it's easier for BC Assessment to blow it. They don't have a lot of close comparable sales always, so there can be more error when a pro product or has uh, more differences than other properties. The assessment panel typically gives its decision by the end of the hearing after a short deliberation. More than 98% of property owners accept their assessments without proceeding to a formal independent review. Following the outcome of the appeals in 2018, the total value of real estate dropped approximately $10 billion according to BC Assessment. And while that figure may sound high, it represents just 0.05% of property values in BC, which stood at $1.86 trillion in 2018. Now, I'm Josh Kepke with McDonald Realty and Vancouver Real Estate today. If you feel you've been treated unfairly with your property, uh, the BC assessed value, let me know. I'd love to help you dispute it if that's something you need to do. Uh, it can help you get your taxes down for the year on your property taxes. And uh, you can reach me uh, through a DM message here on Instagram at Josh Kepke or at Vancouver Real Estate today or you can reach out to me directly at 604-313-9805. Thanks for watching and a happy new year and uh, enjoy 2020. Bye for now.